Uh, welcome to a special, uh, quick little episode of the Choker Bros. Um, I'm your host, Sam Snipe Prime. I'm Zach Brown. And I'm Cody Snodgrass. And uh, before we get started, we want to thank our sponsor, Cards of Evil East, and we also want to thank uh, RB for sending us this uh, this sweet little um, little preview of what's to come. Right now we have, what, 67 card spoilers, something like that? You know more than me. I have no idea the number. <laughs> well, we, we, I think... I think Mogpod said it was like 80 or something. Oh, 80. Okay. I haven't yes, been paying that much attention. Um, so our I, I posted a little preview of, uh, what was it, Grindstone. Um, originally, I posted Millstone. Um, but this one, I think, had a little more synergy because if you... So ours is... I don't have it in front of me, but I believe it's a 2CP Thief. It's a standard mm-hmm. unit. Uh, pay 2CP and put it in your break zone. And then you, the, your opponent mills the top two, and then if they share a color, you draw a card. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. All right, and so it's a two CP backup. Right. So. so, what do we think about this? I'll, my first thoughts are that at first it seems a little, I mean, uh, a little underpowered. Yeah, yeah, but um, it's an interesting effect. Um, I kind of wish it was only one wind, um, two wind CP, and losing the backup and dulling it. That's a lot of cost. Um, but right. I mean, depending on how hard you can mill in the set, like maybe there's some card we haven't seen yet that continues to facilitate mill. Um, it's sweet that it draws a card though. Like if you're, especially there's so much mono going around, like whether it be water or lightning, whatever. Right. Um, yeah, but it's, it's kind of, it's, it's weird that it's in a set where a lot of the cards in the set are multicolor matters. You know what I mean? Like there's a lot of them that like, if it's paid with water, if it's paid with lightning, so it implies that they're going to be more multicolor decks. I was and just this that, yeah. is to go against mono decks. So that's kind of a weird rule. Right. My, my first impression of it is that it's not going to, it's not breaking, uh, you know, Opus Constructed 7 like Renoa does or, or Layla does and, and that type of thing. But if we keep getting these small little inclusions for mill, I think that it, like if I'm playing uh, some sort of mill deck, I could see this to being very important to the deck. Mm-hmm. Um, Games come down to the last few cards quite often. Uh, what what other effects do we have? Like, so you guys haven't had a lot of time to research this, um, thanks to our NDA, which I couldn't show you beforehand. Um, so this is your guys's first sight. But what kind of cards synergize well with this? I mean, I, I'm obviously Riku um, as a win card is the first thing that comes to mind. But what other cards? Like, is there another backup that mills? I, I'm trying to think of one. Um, I think there's a thief that when it enters it mills, yeah. or you can break it to mill. Yeah, there's nothing no, for thief that does that. There's the old Opus One thieves that mill when they enter or mill what they leave. I believe I haven't used them in so long, so I know there's like Sid Highwind as like a forward. Right. Yeah, those, there's those there's a forward and a backup so. thief that are two CPs, uh, two CP each forward and backup. Uh, that yeah, when they enter, your opponent mills one. Okay, so they mill one. So nothing that then, mills two, and not a. And are they no, breakable or? Actually, there is. So thief from Opus three is one wind, one any CP dull sack, and they mill two. You just don't have the draw card clause. So it's like the same exact effect, except for it's less color restrictive, and you don't draw a card. Right. So I actually wonder if which one you would play if you were playing a mill deck. Ah oh, man. Um, probably both, depends, right? I mean, right? Like, I probably both, but like, I wonder if there's like we've seen Earth Wind Mill where there's like you know Sid High Wind Hecaton, like those kind of things, which I don't know if they've been as successful. There's been some sure. Water Wind decks, there's some Mono Wind decks. So I think if you're in the Mono Wind, you're definitely in game for this. Okay. Um, but if you're dual color, I could see an argument for the other one. But like, double wind isn't really that hard in a mill deck because you're going to be primarily wind at least. Yeah, so. I wonder if this card could have been, like, pay two, just dole it, and they mill two, and then, well, I guess it's way too strong. Well, that'd be strictly better than No, 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 what, what if it was this? Like, I, maybe I'm just going way off base here, but what if it was pay two, dole it, they mill two, and if the colors are the same, they draw a card. So you actually mill them three. Oh, so it doesn't break, though. Hold it's up. Six of Siri thought I was talking to her. That was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Um, wouldn't that be interesting? Because they would actually mill three, but draw a card. Um, and it doesn't break itself, so it's just right, you can correct. two every turn. It seems pretty nuts. Pretty nuts. But like, yeah, cool be BB, right? Cool. Like you're you're one 
card off of like VV killing their forward, so you like make them draw a card on you. <laughs> Corner That's cases. Right. What, what do you what, think, what? Cody? Is there a world where you play this? I mean, it's, it does seem not super strong. Uh, uh, I mean, as of late, cars. I've been playing Wind Water. Uh, and, I mean, there's games where Riku just mills them out, even only milling a few times just because I'm going against, like, Vikings or something like that. Sure. Uh, so sure. I think it's playable because it's a 2CP backup. I haven't played Mono Wind in a long time. Um, and when I did, I was playing things like Archer and, like, White Mage and, like, "Quote unquote staple two drops." Yeah, I mean, right. you, have, you have Moogle, Archer, White Mage. Um, uh, there is a lot of competition for that, and like even like you said, the Riku, like milling one without breaking itself, maybe is more valuable than milling two. Right, so but you, breaking yourself has merit too. So you're not gonna you're not gonna play um, you're not gonna play this card uh, in just any mill deck, like or any any win deck. It's just not gonna it's not gonna make the cut. Oops, sorry, popped it up. Right, Chris. probably yeah. not. I mean, I would love for like a new Sid Highwind to come out to make like Mill great. That'd be cool, just because I like Sid as a character from. It's like Fantasy. a legend Sid. Oh, I do too. Yeah. Like that's <laughs> like, that is the coolest Sid um, in all the Final Fantasies, in my opinion. Uh, I wonder if uh, like there could be a Sid Highwind that's sort of like Paul, but like a little, not quite as much milling, but like some kind of legend that has crazy ability, like have an S ability, and then like when he deals damage to your opponent, they mill X amount of cards. Yeah. I know Braun would be Braun and Sid Hayes would be insane if they could get backups, but like I wish there's a way to search these types of backups, um, or to like have like a Thief Matters deck. Um, you Sid could Hayes get is this thief, back, right? Or is he a genome still? I think he are they all doesn't... genomes? I don't even know. Uh, I've got. I don't even know what a genome means. I just for some reason remember that being what he is. I believe. <laughs> so <laughs> all of them are genomes except for the Thoughtseize Sid Hayes, the one that looks at your hand, takes card. That one's a thief. Okay. And there are no cards that are are um, thief matters, right? Not that I'm aware of. There is, however, the Earth Hero Warrior of Light that can get this back. So, like, you could mill them to play him, get it back to the field, mill into so it you next mill turn. Four. Um, and and sure, you have to pay six to play the guy, but like, well, you get you're a, also you get a guy possibly drawing it, two yeah. cards. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I I I myself don't see myself playing it. Um, I'm trying to look up for thief text. I think people are gonna like it just because it has like a Yoshi egg for a <laughs> hoodie. <laughs> no, it's actually it's actually a sweet looking card. Um, I just wonder at what point if we do we hit a critical mass where you have enough mill things where they could actually win the game. You have to play things, in my opinion, like uh, Valfor. Um, to get value off the bouncing thieves, like entering and exiting, doing all the milling. Well, yeah. just to slow your opponent down too. Also, right? Um, mm -hmm. <clears throat> maybe the new send comes into effect. Yeah, you can also play that. like the, the old Riku that bounces the backups to bounce the backup seas that enter when they mill, or the mill when they enter, because then they're backup ones that do it. But they can't play the Riku backup. And they can't play the Riku backup, which is the, uh, the oh, whole reason when we, were building, <laughs> when we were trying to build that deck that we didn't end up playing it is because you can't play both Rikus. And yeah, the win true. condition yeah. of the deck was to mill out. Yeah. Title! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that actually is another thing, though. I, I think. <laughs> Final Fan if I recall correctly, Final Fantasy V doesn't have any two drop wind backups. They have like uh the king that searches uh Lena, but that's a three CP and kinda awkward. Um so maybe this will be good for title. I don't know. I don't know yeah. a whole lot about title at this point, but So let's see. Let's backup back. five search title. It has Red Mage Bard, Cannoneer, Thief, Time Mage, Geomancer, Oracle. <laughs> Summoner Ninja Black. I mean, mage, wind. Back up, sorry. Okay, get in here. Like for, for the wind abilities. Okay, so uh, it has yeah. Geomancer. And it Geomancer. also has Oracle, which is like. Oh, it has Oracle? Oh, oh, that's from five? Yeah, like, aren't you just oh, going to play three? Okay, You're gonna max out on that Oracle. I'm just an idiot. Yeah, we're good. Oracle's yeah. another card that I would play over this card. <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. Oracle's crazy. But, you know, the, the, the other thing that, um, that we really, at least I loved about Opus 5, was the limited playability of cards, right? Like, this card is actually probably really good and sealed where your games mm -hmm. go really long. Um, I don't think you're ever drawing a card off it in Limited, but um, no, that's a good the, point the Mill 2 is pretty strong. But maybe that's relevant, too. Like, maybe you don't want to draw a card in those situations. Well, I'm saying you almost never will, though. Like, right. you, you have to play, like, what, four colors at least in most of the Limited environments now with only six packs, so. Well, we don't know right now for this current set. But I imagine, like, some of these cards that make it tour, like, the, the CP matters, you know, like, if you play this with water, 
um, are designed with limited in mind because they're just not constructed like strong enough. Mm -hmm. So I think that when people are evaluating cards, it is, it is interesting that people probably don't take into consideration their limited applications. Right. Um, this is like probably one of the stronger limited cards that I've seen. Um, I can see that. I guess, yeah. As long as you have enough wind to activate the ability. Right. Well, it's just one wind card, but... True. That's yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah, uh, I, I'm really excited. Are there any like before? I know we just want to just do this real quick, um, but since our last podcast, are there any standout cards for you guys um, that like you're really um, looking forward to right now? How do you guys feel about that mystic standard unit that reduces cost of ice summons? Of ice and, summons. You haven't seen that? Did I read? Did I read the card wrong? <laughs> Maybe. Oh. Oh, I think I just read it after I read the one that reduces the cost of cards called Summoner. And I thought it reduced cards called, that were Ice Summoners. And I was no, like, no, no. So, I was like why, why are you guys even considering this card? This is just uh, garbage. So the card is 3 CP 6K, uh, forward standard unit uh, yeah. from 5. Yeah, no, when no, it no, enters no. the field, uh, choose two backups. If you played this card with Wind CP, so Wind and Ice, you activate those two backups. And then the re and then the second ability is the cost required to cast ice summons is reduced by one, and it cannot become zero. So you're already taking up three slots in your ice deck uh, because you want to play Mate uh, Mateus for um, your Thaumaturges and your Zidanes. And yeah, that gets um, no value. So, so you don't Although get one any CP value that. are pretty sweet. I mean, two CP Shivas are probably almost as good. It's not like the difference between like a three CP Leviathan and a two CP Leviathan, right? I mean. Probably fair. Makes it uh, is two CP. So that's pretty. That's good. no, that's true, and that that does make that card much stronger. And there's Another. a new Shiva coming out that costs three. That if it costs two, is probably a lot more relevant. Yeah, is that the one yeah. that if it ex bursts, it dulls? If the ex bursts, it dull freezes. If it if you just cast it normally, you just freeze two things. Um, Why doesn't that card just also, dull them with for three? Because it's the same. I have no idea. But uh, the other interesting thing about the card that people are arguing about right now on Facebook, and I don't know if it's gotten Twitter confirmed or not, is it doesn't specify your ice summons. Well, whereas a card like Yuna specifies your sum or your water summons or less. That's probably and also translation they, error. And they also pointed out Semi Lafina also does not say yours. It says the cost to play Star Sybil is reduced by two. Yeah. And people were saying that, or, and Matiski said that they've not actually confirmed it with Kagiyama. And he asked, and he said, no, it works as intended, or it's printed as intended, which is interesting. Like, does that mean there's a rule that we don't know about that, like, in that specifies any effect like this is yours? But then why would some cards say yours? So it's kind of a weird thing going on right now. Yeah. yeah. Wait, so there's a possibility, like, if you play a Star Symbol or a Simi, I can play my Star Symbol for three? Yes. I'm pretty sure that is not the case. That that can't be the way it works. That'd be insane. But that's what the talk is. Talk of the town right now. <laughs> but it's like one of those things you wouldn't even think to like try. Like you'd look at it and be like, oh, yeah, well, of course that means yours. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. What about you, Cody? Are there any cards that are standing out to you right now? Uh, I like the new starter, Garland, actually. Is that the one uh, that... Like uh... a three you drop 7k when it blocks it gains 2k and then when it dies uh, you give a lightning forward 4k i believe is what it does i don't have the card in front of me at the no, time but you're you're right is that card good uh when it blocks gains 2k when it dies plus 4k something yeah and then every time it blocks it gains 2k so it's kind of like the old prish where it can keep getting bigger oh true yeah it's that. also a knight which is relevant so it's a 9k on defense 9k, 9K on defense and it's a knight so it can be a 10k on defense if you're playing water with it. Okay, so okay. let's say it's a 9k on defense. It blocks, it trades up, and then it makes like your Layla like a 7k. And, and it's an Alcid target on curve, so that's no, good. Yeah, you're right. That could be really good. Um, uh, and like I a water I'm lightning sure. deck, maybe. I think mm -hmm. I actually like it better than Legendary Seifer, which I already don't like Legendary Seifer enough. But like... <laughs> Maybe it's got one more power and like it's still a 2k swing. It's just instead of them shrinking, you're getting bigger. So I can see that. Oh, it's not an offense, but almost. Yeah. Right. I mean, if, if I, again, if, but if I'm playing water, lightning, I'm all over 
Seymour. So, <laughs> um, I really like the starter Ishtola. I'm just sad it's named Ishtola. Is that good too? That I mean, I think it's good, but it's it's two CP when well, it enters. It, it won't 2K see constructed something. play, right? In Opus, or and then you play? sacrifice it. Well, you can sacrifice it to deal seven K to something, which is Wait, kind is of that, sweet. Is that sure? You have to have seven characters, but like if you have five backups and like two forwards, it includes itself, of course, right? Yeah. Okay. So it's a two CP. If two CP backup. Basically. Yeah. It's an effort it's like that one can time attack. For so, yeah. What's that? So it's, a, it's an effort that can like attack. It's it's a backup. Oh, it's a backup. It's a two CP backup that when it enters the field, uh, choose a forward your opponent controls and deal it two thousand damage. Oh. And then you can pay one wind, dull, sacrifice to deal 7,000 damage to something, and you can only do it if you have seven characters. Yeah, that card is garbage, right? You actually like that card? <laughs> I kind of like it. It's not, if, it's if, it, if it was named, yeah, I, I agree with you. With if it wasn't named Estola, but like, yeah, both I don't think the other Estolas are just Stola, insane. But... I mean, even the two drop Estola is pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I also I like know. the new Dragoon Lord, the one that gives all your Dragoons haste, and then like for one, you can make something gain 1,000 power. For a turn, you, you can do it multiple times. Yeah, there are some really interesting cards coming out. Um, I'm actually just really excited about uh, sealed. Mm -hmm. um, I won't get to play sealed. I'm really sad about that. Why not? Because um, I won't be at the pre-release, and we really don't, we really don't play sealed anywhere outside. Uh, well, what I mean is, okay, we can talk about it later, I guess. <laughs> why am I not going to pre-release? Yes. Uh, the fest. It's a giant uh, music concert. I go. To oh, that's year. that's this week or that. It happens that weekend? to be on that weekend. It's very. Oh, miserable. okay. Uh, it could be worse. It could be on the day of the weekend of release, and I would get to play like the first constructed tournament, which would suck. Um, we should plug in the cauldron event. Um, is that November tenth? The the, the <laughs> Virginia one. Yeah. Hmm. I'll be honest. I have no clue. I saw the, the November tenth at two. Yep. That's in Virginia. That too. How far is Virginia for us? Uh, probably what nine? No, it's more than nine hours. Probably no, uh, more than nine because like uh, North Carolina took me, is ten. Well, it took me eight to get to Atlanta. Oh so, wow! Okay. Seven and a half, eight to get to Atlanta. So yeah, you have to keep going past that. What's the What's the address? Let's uh, Let's do this on the fly. <laughs> let's go four <laughs> four two six four Plank Road, Fredericksburg. Four two six four Plank Road. All right, well, I'm glad that I tried to use an antiquated system. Did you already find it? Because I went to uh, MapQuest thinking on. that, like, it would be annoying. MapQuest. Yeah, I mean, I know, that that years. Was, that was, yeah, me neither. Uh, 4264 Plank Road. Yeah, Plank Road, Fredericksburg. Uh, that uh, that appears to be... I got 12 hours and 15 minutes from me. Really? That's not too bad. I thought it would be much farther than that. There's a Chick Fil A down the street, so you can count me in. <laughs> There's a Chick Fil. <laughs> That's all you need is a good food place nearby. Um, I'm getting here? twelve and a half hours. So we're only twenty four hours from our boy Cody. Well, it might be a triangle, right? Like if we could just go like twelve that way. <laughs> no, no, no. We have no, to go. We have to go through here. <laughs> we, we must go. Oh, this go to the event, and then go to Cody. <laughs> yeah, must go Jeez. see Cody. Um, uh, Cody, I'm not going to come see you guys unless we stop and see Chris Adams first. And then... <laughs> well, I imagine he's going to be at the Cultron event. All right, they're already all confirmed to go. Yep. No, yeah. that's what I'm saying. So Anytime we visit, for me, we have to they're going to have to. They would have to up the price support. Um, I think right now it's uh, a trophy and the plushie. Um, it's a trophy champion award, which is crystal acrylic. Yeah. Playmat and limited edition leather plush, the one you already have. Yeah, I mean it's really cool. Like those are awesome prizes. Um, Right, but for a, a twelve-hour drive, then I have to try to get Alfred to drive, and that's that's you know, that's a whole trip and a half. You Probably know. You want to get there. Yeah, well, <laughs> so you know, like just kidding, Alfred. <laughs> but like, I'm just well, my car is not going to make it. That's not even right. No, no, no questions asked. My car won't make that kind of drive. Um, but I want to go. I, if we could get five of us, I know that sounds like a cramped car. If we get five of us, I think that that would be doable. How close is Chris Adams to this? Do you know? We'd have to talk to him. I know no it's idea. not his like. I know it's not his local. Um, 
I, I, I'm asking because I wonder if we could find someone to crash with there. If we can find someone to crash with and we can jam five people in some sort of <laughs> car, I'll, I'll make the trip. We could drive out on Friday out. night, uh, play, crash on Saturday, and then come back Sunday or whatever. Yeah, I think, the, I think the Triple Triad guys were talking about going on their podcast. But I know they like kid around and like said they were doing like a party bus, but I know that's very unrealistic. <laughs> Right. No. Yeah. No. Well, I'm, I'm have kinda... you met Alejandro? <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't joke about that. <laughs> yeah. I've heard. I've heard stories. Now I met him at Nats, but I haven't got to party with him. So. <laughs> you know, we, uh, we need freeze tokens like these guys. Oh, well, those are like newer ones. Yeah, they're oh, not I... actual freeze tokens. Camera got really blurry. They're not. They're not freeze tokens. But I'm. I'm looking for my freeze tokens. I have them somewhere on this table. I just uh, don't know where are they the sharp ones that you can cut people with? Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, nice. I remember seeing him in his bag at Nats. Oh, yeah. Um, anyway, so, yeah, so plug in the Cauldron event. You guys should check that out November 10th. You get the leather plushie, which is uh, pretty exclusive. They are hand-numbered on the, the the paw, the foot, what have you. They're <laughs> hand-numbered. They're pretty They're pretty cool. Um, all, all the stuff they're giving out sounds pretty dope. If we have 20, if it's $20 per person, though, um i expect price support to be a little higher if that happens if uh if that happens i think you'll see a trip from us um cody odds what are the odds that you make this trip <laughs> if the price support goes up you said november 10th yeah yeah, yeah better odds of me showing up to the cards of evilies oh that's, yeah. a, that's a better bet <laughs> okay but that's gonna happen though <laughs> I will. I will yeah. literally take you to the hockey game. I swear to God. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I just gotta do that. Well, yeah. well, and I can't go to Florida without like seeing my mom for at least like five days because she won't let me leave. So well, your mom's in uh, just north of us, right? Yeah, I think she in Everett. I believe is what the town's called. Okay. Uh, well, yeah. Let's make it happen. Anyway, anyway. so that's a good shout out to uh, Cards of Evilise. Um, that is January 6th, 12th. 12th. Why are you guys so much better at these dates? Than I, <laughs> <laughs> I am, I am so confused. All right. January 12th. That is after my busy, uh, schedule at work. So I'll be able to actually make sure I can attend that for sure. Um, yeah. So that's going to be dope. Again, if you haven't heard haven't of the reunion of it, oh, there they are. If, if you haven't here's heard the, of the reunion the, of it, the sharp. um, <laughs> yeah, the Ninja Stars. The reunion event is a Square uh, Enix sponsored event um, as far as the All-Star Draft goes. So I don't know what the prices will be for the All-Star Draft, but I'm excited to find out. Um, I was told I should be excited, but I couldn't be told any details. Right. Yeah. Something, 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 something. Don't stream. You should play. Yes, that was that was along the lines of yeah. Yeah, like you can't. I can't tell you why, but you need to you need to play, not hey, no. not stream, no. not not commentate. not not work the event in any sort of. That capacity. being Do we know said, it? what if and, and this isn't going to happen. I I'm almost one hundred percent positive. But what if there was a Nats qualification for the All Star Draft? How dope How would that dope? be? I will be there. It's literally <laughs> it's, it's an official event. It's the beginning of the year. I just don't see why they wouldn't do that. I know Hobby Japan would support this idea because they support All Star Draft. It, you know, it's their new baby. Um, I want to see that happen. I don't think it's going to happen. Uh, RB, if you're listening, uh, hint, hint. I know, I know <laughs> this one is above and beyond what you can do. However, maybe just you know put the idea and whisper it out there and see what happens. Anyway. Do we know how, <laughs> how are they going to supply the cards for the All Star Draft, or do we bring our own? Or you definitely don't bring your own. <laughs> uh, I was going to work on like super packs. Those would be and like how much they would. Yeah, cost right. So, so I don't know. I don't know if we draft from a cube similar to how we do, and then we we'll return the cards at the end of the cube. That seems reasonable. Or if the All Star Draft would be like thirty dollars, and you get special packs. However, I think those packs, since All Star Draft is already a legal format, those packs would have leaked out into the public. We would know about them. <laughs> So I imagine it's some sort of actual cube that, that RB will bring, um, and then he will just make sure we don't uh, debo those cards. Um, yeah. Yeah, so that'll be pretty cool. Um, so I'm super excited about that. Anyway, uh, we want to thank uh, Square Enix 
Uh, we want to thank RB. We want to thank Hobby Japan for allowing us to have our spoiler uh, because we weren't turd heads and ruined it the last time. <laughs> <laughs> so we're glad. We're glad to. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just felt like being semi polite. <laughs> little shits <laughs> <laughs> wait i wasn't there yet i wasn't here yet so yeah. well, no, we, we kept our <laughs> we kept our uh our agreement pretty easily um anyway oh. thanks for joining I mean, us guys you didn't uh, even tell us about it this time like <laughs> yeah yeah, so, yeah yeah i i i signed the nda so i couldn't even tell cody and zach so they got to see it firsthand <laughs> um which yeah, we're two gonna, minutes before this started <laughs> it wasn't even two minutes i i hit record after i hit submit Oh really? Yeah. So us talking that that thirty seconds. I don't know if I'll include it or not, but that is literally recorded. That way, I, I think at least every time you've said in the these recordings, either I'm not sure if I'm gonna include it or you like confirm I'm gonna include that as a good joke. Every time, it's always in. It doesn't oh, even matter. It's, it's never cut. <laughs> okay. Well, it's definitely in now, and this, <laughs> and this part is out. Um, <laughs> no, but um. Yeah, again, thanks, guys. Uh, you guys need to check out those two events. Um, thank you so much for the feedback on the, the Miles interview. Um, if you guys want someone else interview, let me know. There are some particular eyes I have in mind. I'd love to get Oki on here. I'd love to get RB on here. Um, let's let's talk about uh, some other people that we can get on here, put on some peer pressure. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that would be great. Send us your suggestions. Um, uh, as Cody would say, like and subscribe and he does like some finger pointing somewhere <laughs> down here or whatever yeah. it is. On I never, YouTube. I never push the button though. But if you guys want to get on YouTube and make a button, well, I'm not even on the camera. You got to click the bell notification so you never miss a video. Yeah, oh, there yeah you go. that's true. That's true. Um, anyway, thanks for joining us guys. Uh, I'm Samson Knight Prime. I'm Zach Burrell. And I'm Cody Snodgrass. And we will see you next time.